Greetings. I've been meaning to do this uh, video for a while. Um, well, I'm Bill, and there is Maggie. And we are going to share with you the top three towns that we have seen in the last eight months. A little background for eight months now, we've been on the road in our uh, shuttle bus, which is right there, named Puddle Walker. Don't ask me why. It's just a silly name. Anyway, eight months on the road. We've covered 9,000 miles. And just for the heck of it, I counted. And we went through 337 towns and cities during those eight months. I know, anal. No one else would know that. Um, I only had one rule, really, when I was driving. I did not want to travel on I-5. I hate I-5. That's just personal. Okay, so a lot of towns are on I-5. A lot of cities are on I-5. Had absolutely no chance of being on this list. Uh, so, from the Mexican border all the way up to Olympia. Uh, as far east as Bend, Oregon. And we covered, uh, excuse the background, this is a Saturday. A lot of people home. A lot of people doing yard work. All right, so top three cities of those 327. How did they make the list? Uh, they had to be unique. They had to have a cool vibe. Uh, had to feel safe. Had to have something unique to them. Uh, several cities almost made the top three. Arcata, California would have made it. Arcata has the greatest town square I've seen since I left Vermont. Uh, unfortunately, once you leave the town square and go about a block or two away, then the city looks a little sketchy. But the town square in Arcade is brilliant. Love it. Um, Bend almost made it. Love Bend, Oregon. Cleanest downtown I think I've ever seen in my life. It is bicycle friendly. It's pedestrians friendly. The downtown area and the shopping mall, oddly, if you ever saw the shopping mall there, you'd understand, uh, are are spectacular. I love it. I love the river going through the city. My only problem with Bend is it stretches out so far and it's got so much traffic on the main drags. Uh, that's why it didn't make it. The other one that probably should have made it, if I had the top four, Sisters would have been there. Sisters, Oregon. I love everything about Sisters. Yes, it's a little tourist trap, uh, but it's just got a very friendly vibe to it. It's clean. It's. I just love the town. So if you ever get a chance to go to Sisters, or go to Bend, or go to Arcata, do so. But, having said that, the top three in no particular order, here it comes. Uh, first on the list is um, Ferndale, California. Ferndale is like walking through a town in the year 1900 or the year 1880. The downtown section, I would guess, is about three blocks long. Everything you want is in that three blocks and nothing looks like it came or was built before, you know, 1900. The entire downtown section, the, the, the streets around the downtown section, the residential streets, uh, Victorian homes, the downtown section is a Rexall drug for God's sakes. It's grocery store. The only grocery store in town is built in the same style as all the other buildings. Uh, it has a hardware store that looks just like all the other. It's so cool. I love Ferndale. It's surrounded by farming country. Um, everybody was friendly. It has an art section. Um, cemetery is one of the greatest ever. I know. I know. I'm, the superlatives are flowing. You've got to see the, the cemetery to believe it. Uh, it'll show on the video. Uh, and it also has, I think it's the Humboldt uh, County Fair, or Humboldt State Fair is there, and you can, you can RV, you can stay there for $35 a night, and that's hookups, okay? Hookups. And on the, on, on the State Fair grounds is a little bakery run by two guys, two locals. The baked goods are to die for. Okay. Ferndale, California. So this is the 
cemetery in Ferndale, we're at the top of it. Come here, Max. If you squint real hard to the horizon, you can see the Pacific farmland stretching all the way. But check out the cemetery. Look at how big this place is. It's just, it starts here on the top of this hill. It works its way down. <coughs> Cement walls all the way down. I don't know when this cemetery must have been in the 1850s they started this, but pretty cool. Small town America. There you go. Ferndale, California. I'm trying, trying to get to the coffee shop or the library where there's internet so I can do a video finally but god I love visiting cities like this towns like this shops downtown wherever downtown is I think I'm heading in the right direction anyway and she was saying yeah, she's from Ferndale uh, she was saying it's one of those towns that you know if you aren't from here if you weren't born here if you weren't raised here you never really a local and I I get that St. Mary's Episcopal Church I understand I spent two years in Vermont it's it's like that holy cow I was told about the yeah you know, Victorian homes there's a prime example another kind of anyway Vermont same thing uh, it doesn't mean they don't treat you nicely. I met some incredibly nice people in Vermont, but I was not a local. Yeah. <laughs> Two years did not qualify this boy as a local Vermonter. So there you go, just the way it is. Yeah, so look at this little jewel. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Blow me away. Ferndale. Look at the architecture. Let me get out here so you can see this side of the street. I assume you can see that well enough. It's like a little Victorian town, guys. Who would have thunk it? And the other of our top three um, tourist towns. A little difficult to get there windy mountain road to get up to it but once you get there uh, Idlewild California I I would live in Idlewild if it wasn't for that mountain road getting up there uh, and yeah okay great if you've got a modern car no big deal I've got a shuttle bus it is a big deal but Idlewild, California, incredibly friendly people, uh, just has a wonderful vibe. It's got a town square park that is lovely. Uh, everything spokes out from the park, spokes out. Uh, anyway, if you're ever in the area, Idlewild, California, in the winter, that's a tough drive. In the summer, in the fall, Great, great people. Okay. All right, we're in Idlewild, California, and we found an actual, honest to God, coffee shop. Alpaca coffee and tea. I say honest to God because I have not run across very many. It's all right, Tom's. So, I don't know what it is. Nine o'clock in the morning, pretty chilly. In the 20s. Beautiful day though. Winds died down. So this is Idlewild. And here we are in the center of Idlewild. How do I know that? Because it says Idlewild Town Center on a very chilly Tuesday morning. Oh, it's a cute enough town. It's like the quintessential. Uh, a tourist town, mountain town, Alpine village. It's okay. It's got booze, 
<laughs> it's got food. It's got lodging. And uh, hey, it's got organics. All right, the commotion is uh, Mayor Max and the Vice Mayor have appeared in Idlewild. And as you can see, the locals, mainly the hikers, have come out in force. I'm keeping back because I've got Maggie the Weird and I've got Toby with me. But this is all very exciting. Next on our list is uh, a town I've known for decades. I first visited uh, Ashland, Oregon. I first visited it maybe 30 years ago. I've been there several times since my best friend used to live there, so I visited him there. And on this trip, we went there twice. Uh, I love Ashland, love everything about Ashland. It's just got a cool vibe. It's a college town, it's a tourist town. I mean, if you're gonna go in the summer, uh, but you're not interested in Shakespeare, I would skip the summer. The summer is hot. There's 500,000 people there during the summer. But go in the spring or fall, or go in the winter. It has 300 days of sunshine. Uh, tourist town, sure, but I didn't find the prices to be jacked up simply because it's a little larger city, and so there's competition. Um, I, it's just a great vibe. I love Ashland. And if you love Shakespeare, go for it. And the city park, one of the best city parks I've seen in any city. Um, Lithia, I think is the name of the city park. Lithia? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, Ashland, Oregon. And yeah, it's on I-5, but we didn't get there going on I-5. We took 66 coming from eastern Washington and went over the pass and dropped into uh, Ashland. Anyway, Love Ashland. Love, love, love Ashland. All right, here we are. Downtown Ashland. There's a lot to it. I don't know. There's maybe three blocks of three parallel streets of downtown, and it probably stretches, I don't know, half mile. And the uh, Shakespeare section is right down there where all the Shakespeare theaters are. I, Shakespeare runs from, I want to say, March till, I don't know, September or something like that. And it's huge. It's huge. Now, this town, this town literally explodes from, like, whatever the population is, 10,000 to, uh, they'll see a half a million people in the summer. So here's the Oregon Shakespeare Festival map. And... You gotta check it out. That's the main Shakespeare. Chattam anyway, there's Park. what there's seven or eight uh, auditoriums in this complex here, and they rise up on the hill and they overlook the park. It's and then there's the outdoor, uh, what do you call it, amphitheater where they have outdoor. And we've been walking for two blocks down. I swear every other business is food, so no problem eating. Awesome. And then if you drive just out of the downtown area, there's tons of motels. So there you go. Uh -uh. Keep going. All right, I think that's it. Say goodbye, Beth. Bye, Beth. And that is my top three. I may do my bottom three. I hate to be negative. Uh, without a doubt, there's one city that we visited that is the worst city I've seen short of Detroit, Michigan. Okay, I'm not making that up. So I might have to do a bottom three just so I can mention what city. If you've read my blog on As We Wonder, you will know what city I'm talking about. All right, like and subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, Leave comments below. Tell me what some of your favorite cities in California, Oregon, or Washington are. And don't tell me I'm nuts because of the three. I don't care. Okay? Those are my three. If you want to make your own video with your top three, knock yourself out. All right. Have a good one.